husband and I are coming up on five years of knowing each other. And as you've watched our journey throughout YouTube, the highs, the lows, uh, us getting married, honeymoon, like all the in-between videos of just our journey, we thought it would be a disservice not to share with you the true reaction that we had to such big news of becoming parents. And you're going to see that as our progression kind of happens on YouTube. And we wanted to give you an inside look of kind of what that looked like. You can make your own decisions. You don't have to get on a hormonal birth control if you don't think that that is the best method for you. Have we thought about having children? Have we thought about it? Talked about this a little bit. We want to wait until 25, 26-ish. We do want to have little babies. Now, of course, the Lord has a habit of changing plans. And we are pregnant. No, we're not. no, we're not. We are not. I promise. I think that we can probably get pregnant at the end of the year. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm thinking. You don't think so? No, I'm thinking. Babe, you'll be 24. I'm thinking more like 2024. I'm ready for a good pee. Come on. So I just went pee, Mama. Can I have it back? Oh. I feel like this is long overdue, but we've done so many videos related to pregnancy already that it feels like we should have already done this, basically. But here we are. We're gonna talk about it, because you guys keep asking a lot of questions. Um, yes, you do. You're very inquisitive people. <laughs> you remind me of me. <laughs> yeah. So. Which is a good thing. In March of 2020, we did the Q&A video that you guys saw. And clearly, Nick was just joking around, but it's kind of accurate. <laughs> At least to today. I mean, it's really accurate. And then... Kind of weird. Share the third clip, which was the last and final video that we talked about having kids mm -hmm. in the car. What was going through your head? <laughs> we just like had this plan, but what was going through my mind in that clip was that, oh my gosh, what if we're doing this video right now and we're at, like pregnant? And in my head, I was thinking, there's no way. I mean, obviously there's no way, but how ridiculous would it be if we were filming this, saying all this, and then we were actually pregnant during like filming this video? And sure enough, Chelsea was pregnant while we were filming that. We just had no idea yet. Oh, what's the scripture? It's like man, man tries to plan their ways in their heart, but the Lord determines their steps. Yeah, something like that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna say that. I believe it it's a proverb. But a lot of you guys were asking questions like, was it planned? You guys had just done a video basically saying that you were going to wait another few years. And we've addressed that. Yes, it was planned by, the by God, <laughs> but not by me. But it makes us feel so much better too that like we're walking through this with so many friends. Yeah, um, which is so weird. We've got like, we won't name them, but we've got like three friends that we can both name uh, who the due dates are within a week, either yeah. days after or a couple of days before. Not only that, but some of my favorite YouTubers and like creators that I look up to are within like a day of me. Like, you guys know, Kristen Johns is pregnant and I was messaging her and I was like, yo, when's your due date? And she's like, July, it's like a day apart basically. I'm July 18th, I think she's July 19th. Um, and that just blew my mind. I was like, I guess God's really trying to raise up a generation of babies all at the same time. I mean, he's always doing that. It would be lost on us not to share the initial shock of something like that when you're Tremendous. not planning it. Yeah. It's very shocking. Like I could relate a lot to some pregnancy, yeah. like finding out videos of just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what? No, this can't be like, yeah. no way. But whenever I took it, I was just like super hesitant. There's no way. Like. Why, why would you even like make me take this right now, Nick? It's kind of frustrated with him, but he went and left in Colorado because we were putting on an online conference with a few friends. We were in Colorado at the Airbnb thing. Nick like walks in, he's like, 
I'm gonna go buy you a pregnancy test. I'm gonna go buy you one. Like, you're eight days late. We need to take one. And he said that he had a feeling unlike did. any other time that it was gonna, like, be true. Well, it no, no, gonna... no. I felt like all the other ones before this time, like, I felt like they would pop negative, but you always want to be certain, you know? Yeah. But on this one, ooh, man, I've got this feeling she's gonna test positive. Yeah. And then you did. So... I didn't have that moment where I got to share the news with my husband about being pregnant and putting a little stick in like a box and it was so exciting. Yeah. But Nick was just like, take these and I'm going to stay in the Dude, bathroom no, with we, you. We were, like, we were like right up in that junk together. I was literally on the toilet and he's like diagonal to me on the counter. He's like, how do I do Dude, this? this strip <laughs> is just sitting right here and I'm just like... And then, like, the second line shows up, started having, like, heart palpitations, <laughs> like, and then I remember, I'll never forget. I literally looked at Nick to, like, give me the answer of what it said, because I didn't want to look. That's going to freak me out. I don't know what my reaction's going to be. <laughs> well, I'll never forget, we were both in complete, like, disbelief at the standard ones, you know, but then we looked at the digital one, the one that actually says yes or no, and mm -hmm. I'll never forget, we were just, like, sitting there, our hearts were racing. And we, it's like the three little dots, you know, and then it blinks, it blinks, it blinks for two minutes, and then it pops up yes with the plus on it, and we were just, oh, holy crap! Um, yeah. Are you gonna make a cameo? <laughs> huh? Oh, buddy. Oh. You have to keep your harness on because you keep peeing in the house. Yeah. It's a bad boy. So we, of course, had like our moment where we like cried and we're like overjoyed because we genuinely think in that moment God completely shifted our hearts from I enjoy young marriage and wanting to stay in this for a few years and I love our plans to this is my plan for you and you're going to embrace it and a child is in your plan um, and so we also know that this was of the Lord in so many other ways that are outside of just taking a pregnancy test and knowing that we're mm -hmm. pregnant. Like months up to moving to South Carolina, so many apartments weren't working out for us. And just within the nick of time, we got this house with three yeah. bedrooms. Two and bath, it, yeah. It was more affordable than renting an apartment. Mm -hmm. So it was just the Lord in so many different ways and like we're plugged into such an awesome church and community here that's the story all the exciting things but we do want some of you Ow. guys to know Nicholas, or, oh my gosh i always call him nick she calls the dog my name because i'm usually the one who annoys her but sometimes it's waldo now and she calls him my name because that's what normally has to happen anyway we do want some of you guys to know though who may be going through this right now or have gone through this or maybe you feel like at some point you could go through this that it is completely normal to feel stress anxiety worry shock disbelief um i don't think any of those things are invalid feelings in any kind of way and so you shouldn't feel bad or feel wrong for feeling those things um because i mean this is like a big deal it's a major major life decision yeah. and I don't know, we've had waves of those things. Like we've had waves where we'll just be sitting in bed reading a book and then Chelsea will just like burst out crying. Uh, just like feeling anxious yeah. or worried And or it's scared. not all bad things. It's, it's like, uh, it's pregnancy hormones, but it's also, am I gonna be a good mom? Am, am I gonna know how to raise a kid mm -hmm. um, at my young age? And then I go back and I think, no, God's literally designed women to be able to do this. And also, women used to have babies way younger than we are. Um, they've had them naturally for centuries and centuries. Yep. Um, and we're freaking rock stars. Like, we just are. So I just have to hype myself up sometimes. Not myself, but like women as a whole because God's really uniquely wired us to be able to do stuff like this, even when we feel like we're incapable. Um, and that's why I'm so grateful for the roles that mm -hmm. God's given man and woman. Like, we are made to fit and work together. Yeah. And 
I will say this is probably the one thing in our marriage up to this point that's made us, at least in my opinion, made us feel the most like a team. Um, uh oh. Did you lose it? He's wanting to talk to you. Quick intermission to entertain the dog because he can't go too long without attention. <laughs> and he's torn up his moose that our friend so graciously gave him. He's a little chunky monkey. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Little chunky. Little chunky chunky. <laughs> Switching spots. So we just feel, I'll reiterate what Nick was saying, that we're more like a team when it comes to this and preparing to have a kid. As my stomach gets bigger, things get tighter, emotions are crazy, and we're training this dude that is very high maintenance. No, he's honestly really easy. He's like, it's obviously really easy to do just like normal tasks, when you have a puppy, mm -hmm. nothing changes okay. at all. Zero. You should definitely do it. I really recommend it, honestly. <laughs> they don't, um, they're very careful about caring for you and <laughs> caring about what you Your need fingers. To do. Waldo's amazing, though. I mean, he, he has his low moments every day, but don't we all? Honestly. Well, he has more than the normal. He's so a puppy. He's a baby. He's, a He's just a little boy. baby. He's a baby boy. So we just wanted to provide some clarity for those of you guys who are asking questions and we're like concerned about if we're ready for this. Uh, we believe that the Lord makes people ready. I mean, he didn't just have all these people as examples in scripture um, perfected before he called them to those specific areas. He molded them and shaped them and place them where they were supposed to be so that they can learn those skills, learn to be humble, learn to, you know, all those things. And I think a lot of things are not like just given to us. Yeah. We are taught them over time. Yes. Um, and that is a huge part of parenting. I've already been learning, reading a lot of like parenting <coughs> books and how to pray for our kid and all that, so. As we kind of embark on this journey, together together being us but also together with you um i just hope that you'll get to see inside the story and inside the daily life of what all this consists of yeah that's our plan to kind of share this overarching story of i guess a new new family adventure really the next day and I just showered and I wanted to make sure we don't forget in this video to share with you those who are on our community page that like pay attention to it know this already so we decided to start patreon um, because we out but we have seen the need for deeper community on our page and just with the people that watch our videos and um, who are people just like us that have different lives and we can really relate to a lot of you. And so we wanted to create a place where um, it can be exclusive, yet um, at the same time, we are also like using that money that the Patreon makes to fund our podcast going ad free. So we have felt super burdened to go less ads this year, um, more intentional community, and we're gonna be doing bi-weekly Bible studies with the people on our Patreon. So um, there's three different tiers. Y'all can choose if you wanna participate at all. Of course, we're always creating these videos here on YouTube for free. That won't change. Um, but we just wanted an exclusive place that we can be proud of 
um, that you can be excited to come together with new people, new believers, and we're pumped about it, aren't you, buddy? Daddy went to go get Burger King because Mama loves breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Are you staring at the camera? <laughs> I guess you always seem to know Hello Ramona I push back the serious scene